We're learning new details about a deadly crash between a jet ski and a boat on Friday in southern Kentucky. Brothers Cole and Chase Fisher were killed in that crash. Reporter Phil Pendleton spoke to boat safety experts and people who were in the area when it happened. Crashes between jet skis and boats are not common, according to those that regularly patrol the lake. There are accidents that happen in any capacity, not just jet skis and boats. It could be boats and boats. It could be boats and the and the shoreline or underwater obstructions. But on Friday, something caused a collision between the jet ski carrying brothers 18 year old Chase and 14 year old Cole Fisher and a larger boat. Both teens were killed. Those who were in the area when the crash took place say that it was busy on Friday, but not overly busy. They say that it happened in an area that used to be a no wake zone. No wake zones are areas where boats are supposed to travel at much slower or idle speeds. Rangers say the important thing is to treat the lake with rules of the road. As you're traveling down the lake, you want to maintain at least middle to the right side. Uh, you definitely don't want to, we call it cutting the point. You don't want to cut the point on the wrong side of the lake. He encourages all boaters to take the NASBLA boating course. It's a good resource just to get you familiar with rules of the road and how to operate vessels on lakes such as Lake Cumberland. He says there are situations where boats have a certain right of way just like on a road. The other thing is to simply pay attention. And Fisher Homes released a statement today. The teenager's father is the company's chairman. The statement reads in part that the Fisher Group is about family and they are grieving with and praying for the entire Fisher family.